Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back, finally, to the Pokemon Red randomized Nuzlocke. Most of you probably never thought this day would come, and I'm sorry that it's taken so long, um, but between being busy and just having no motivation, I, 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 I've let this slide much longer than I wanted to, and I do apologize for that again, for the, like, fifth time. Um, but we're back, I've done a very small amount of grinding in my off time, um, I've basically cleared the trainers between Fuchsia and Seafoam Islands. Uh, before flying over to Pallet Town, where we are ready to go. Um, notably, uh, Nessie has learned Ice Beam, which I'm ecstatic about. Lapras is one of my f favorite Gen 1 Pokémon, or very overall, really, Pokémon, because of just how bulky and solid and reliable it is. Um, so her having uh, Surf, Psychic, and Ice Beam in a Nuzlocke just makes me happy, because it's just like, hi, what you got? <laughs> you know, there's not much that can, that can resist that. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Rodan and my mob are 38. Nessie and Prometheus uh, is 38. Many hours is 37, as is Tammy. Uh, we're working on it. Let's get our butts moving. We are going to go down to Cinnabar. We're going to get ourselves through the um, the mansion. And hopefully we're going to get ourselves a, uh, a Blastoise, apparently. Um, uh, a badge tonight, hopefully. Um, I honestly... I do not remember where I have been and have not been as far as catches go. I don't think I've been in this grass here or in this water here, but I honestly do not recall. I'm just going to leave it be. Um, I know I've not been to Cinnabar ever, so I will consider a catch in the mansion there or in the waters around Cinnabar because I, I know I've not... Oh my god, the encounter rate is nuts. The game's like, hey, we'll come back. <laughs> we missed you. Here, 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 Pokemon, 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 like, I get it. You meant, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Um, I could and probably should fight these guys, but honestly, I'm just, I'm more interested in getting to the mansion right now. I can always go out here and, uh, tie them up afterwards. Because I don't know about you guys, but this is this is what often happens to me in Pokemon games. As much as I love Pokemon, you, once you've hit about like the halfway point, the rest of it just kind of feels like 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 you you usually have your team set in stone by the halfway mark. You know, you've been playing for a while. Um, you have your your starter. You have whatever uh, team members you 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 were kind of hoping for ahead of time. Most of the time, um, you know, you kind of have your team more or less figured out. At that point, it's just, just a matter of leveling, you know what I mean? And so, you, you things stop changing. It just becomes numbers and time, and that's fine. Like, like some games handle this better than others. This, this is not all Pokemon games. But Gen 1, as much as I love Gen 1, uh, you know, it had a, had a few things to work out, of course, as, as we know. Uh, and, and that's why Gen 2 was, you know, like, m among my favorite generations. And Gen 3 was, was also pr pretty amazing stuff. Because they took... A lot of these problems and kind of help with it. You know, they gave kind of the, the second half of the game a, a bit more personality to kind of help combat this. But in Gen One, it was just kind of felt like, hey, once you've once you're through once you're through Celadon, or e even Surge, kind of, it's just kind of felt like, all right, it's just it's just a matter of leveling up until you hit the end. Now, like it, it, the, the the rocket stuff helps, I guess, because you've got the the, the various uh, uh, team rocket things to, to to deal with along the way. Um, but the, you know, the, it was Gen One. It was it was it was just getting things you know getting things started. So that's totally fine. It's not like it was expected to do anything better. Um, but I don't know. It just it, it just it's, it's, it just starts feeling like you're just kind of waiting to hit the end. I, I, I guess I've played it too many times. Maybe that's it's it's, it's fully possible that's what it is. Because I when I was a kid, I would like play the game, beat the game, restart the game, do it again, repeat, repeat. Repeat because I didn't have uh, very many other Game Boy games I wanted to play, so uh, I would just obsessively play Pokemon all the time, and maybe that's what's the problem. You know, it's very possible that's why I, I kind of burn out so fast on it now because I love the game and I, and I want to play the game, but then about half of I'm just like, okay, I've, I've, I've gotten what I wanted out of this, you know. <laughs> uh, never mind me. I'm just complaining. Little 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 window into the inner weird ways of Matt. But I hope you guys are still enjoying and not letting my weird ramblings get you down on that one. Not my intention at all. Right, we do, however, actually one of those is very interesting here, we do have a fossil to turn in. I almost forgot about that. 
let's go see the fossil man. And the fossil man can. And the trade guy, what do you got? Looking for a Snorlax, I'm gonna trade one for a Gengar. And I already have one of those. Hiya! I am the important doctor! I saw you here with red Pokemon fossils! You, have you a fossil for me? Oh, that is Helix fossil! This fossil of Venusaur, a Pokemon that is already extinct! Is it? Hmm. <laughs> My research mission will make a Pokemon live again! Sure. So you wouldn't give me that? No. I take a little time! Go for a walk! You, you, you! Go for a walk! Get it! Shoo! Shoo! I'm shoo shooing. There's a, there's a second trade here somewhere, too, actually. That's the metronome guy over here. I made a cool TM! It can cause all kinds of fun! Here, have TM35! Is that normally flamethrower? That'd be funny. Um. No poison powder. Huh. No, we've had this one before, that's right. Yeah, yeah okay, fair enough. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Yeah, not anymore. You, uh, you, 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 just you wait there, friend. Is it you? I found this very strange fossil in Mount Moon. I think it's a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Oh, here. You want to trade your golem for my Dragonair? I would if I had one. I wouldn't mind me a Dragonite, honestly. Oh, well. Honestly, I'm not that keen on the, on the Venusaur. We can come back for it after if you feel like it. Let's... Ride a bike on an island. Bike on an island for no particular reason. Ah, uh, wait, we're paralyzed, aren't we? All right. Get that fixed. But yeah, I mean, I, 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 I um, I am kind of glad. I guess, I guess it's, it's kind of the silver lining of, of uh, having my current predicament to where I, I can't, I, I can stream, I guess. But like, if I hear, um, if I, if I, if I only have audio in one ear for too long, like, I, I, I get like, I guess like a headache. It just, I don't know if it's just me. I, I've heard others don't like that either, though. So maybe it's just like a, a balanced hearing thing. Um, but uh, I can, I can kind of. Up with it for a little bit. Here's our catch to this place, by the way. Speaking of dragon airs, hello. Well, that's interesting. Um, and me without any means of actually damaging you without killing you. No, that's not true. I have thunder shock. I have thunder shock. That said, you're 16 levels off of actually being useful. But still, I am intensely interested. Well, like I was saying, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess it's, it's kind of the silver lining of, you know, having a half-busted headset that I finally have the have the time and motivation to actually get the Rizzi's recordings done, so I figured I might as well, you know, may as well. Because um, I wanted to get to these, I wanted to uh, start a, a new series as well, which um, will probably be up uh, around the same time as this, actually. So I'll let you see what that is, maybe in, in some, some suspense. Um, what was I going to say? Right, I was thinking of adding a Pokemon game to our stream lineup again once I have some space for it. Um, I was thinking of either uh, finding an, a fan game or perhaps going back through Insurgents, although it's incredibly long and I'm a little a little hesitant to do that, but like a lot of people on the channel now didn't see our original Insurgents run. It was pretty fun, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to switch Tammy here in a minute, because this dragon air is kind of scaring me. Ah! Okay. Do I not have Ultra Balls? I don't, do I? I have two Master Balls, in all fairness. This is like one Pokemon I would be kind of okay using it on. I mean, I've already got a Mewtwo. Oh, sure, you have Thunder Wave. Lucky you. But seriously, like, I mean, at this point in the game, the only things I, I would, would consider using a Master Ball on would be a Dragonite, or a future Dragonite, or like a Zapdos. Uh, Okay, it's time to switch. Um, you, scary ghost. It still mystifies me that, that, that like the rap can hold hold Gengar, but not actually like damage Gengar. It's weird. I wonder if 
do we still have hypnosis on, 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 on this? No. We have Confuse Ray. Which will uh, not exactly be the result we want. At the same time, I'm not, I'm not exactly looking forward to all the grinding it would require to get this thing to a Dragonite. Because that's like 16 levels. Aha! Still don't have to use Master Ball. Still not having to use it. Dragonair, the Dragon Pokemon. A mystical Pokemon that exudes a gentle aura. Has ability to change climate conditions. Well, there you go. I'm going to call you now. Um... Tell you what, you guys leave me your ideas down below of what the, this Dragonair might be called in the comments. I will name her or him either way. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining a her for some reason. Ophelia for now. I don't know why. Just what is the first name that came into my head? So we'll go with that. Okay. I'm very curious to see what moves she might learn. I know, I do remember that we had ability, the ability to, like, purchase Earthquake TMs, and Dragonite has a very high attack stat, so, uh, that's a little intriguing to me. Not too many other things in Gen 1 that work great with Dragonite, though, because, like, it couldn't learn Earthquake normally, but in this version of reality, maybe it can. But, like, I mean, it, it's, it's, it, he's... <sighs> Dragonite typically has, like, it has, has like, it, 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 it learns a lot of special moves, but it has a really high attack stat. And in Gen 1, it really could not make very good use of that, which is unfortunate, because, like, dragon moves are special, fire moves are special, ice moves are special, water moves are special. You know what I mean? It just, it was special the whole way down, and all it could learn was special moves, which was such a waste for such a powerful Pokemon physically. Um, what you got? Confusion? No. Uh, high jump kick? Wouldn't that be funny? Can you? Yep. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Dragonair. I have no legs. High jump kick. Double edge. No. Uh, hydro pump. That'd be cool. Nope, of course not. No, I'm gonna learn that one. <laughs> Nobody. Harden. Uh, pass. Hard pass, you might say. Poison gas, only after Mexican night. Or other foods, poison powder, same kind of thing, really. Clearly all the all, all teams we have on us are junk. Um, tell you what, let, give me just a moment, you guys. I'll do a quick tour around Kanto, try to figure out where the TMs I want are. I think it's in Celadon, personally. That sounds about right to me. Did I have any coins in my coin case? Maybe it was it the, 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 the coin the thing. I'll figure it out. Here's a second, guys. I will just I'll I'll, I'll I'll do a quick tour of Kanto. I'll find I'll find the the, the TMs we want. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. Uh, sadly, Ophelia cannot learn Earthquake. However, she could learn Psychic and Solar Beam, which means that she is at least a lot uh, will be a lot, a lot easier to level up than typical, or than than, than it typically would be for Dragonair. So we will uh, see how she goes. All right. So in here we go. We need to find uh, the way to open up the door. Ivysaur. Hello. Open up the door, Ivysaur. That actually rhymes. Um, open up the door to Blaine's gym. Get us in there. Kind of love the idea that we have an actual dragon there on the team now, though. It's pretty good. Nice crit. She's not gonna level up any, you know, she's not, she won't level up quickly, but, um, you know, at least the encounter rate seems to be going out of its way to help us out. How much experience with the dragon would, would would get her anyway? And like I said, I mean, even though Dragonite's um, attack stat is its highest, you know, by a fair margin, um,. You know, it's no slouch in special attack either, so... If this is the best we got, it's still not the worst thing ever. Bam! 
It is kind of a waste to have to keep using Sega Summon so much, though. Because we're going to burn out of our, our power points real fast this way. Right, items! Awakening! Feeling sleepy? Well, no more! Right here? Okay. Looks like a great place to hide an item, and yet, no item. Now, I know there's a particular order to unlocking the, the rooms in this place. But, uh, I do not remember what it is. We'll figure it out. It's no big deal. Oddish. Oddish, oddish, oddish. No offense to Oddish, but I'm kind of glad that wasn't our catch for this place. It's not really worth fighting, even. Not worth the experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a <gasps> Lord Helix! Bow to the helix. Well, can I not just do this then? I'm a charging my laser! Huh, he withdraw, he's like, Yipe! Yipe, yipe, yipe! There is no yipe for you! Oof. Yeah, Dragonair is a uh, 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 certainly an experienced hungry beastie. Oh, of course, this is locked. Okay, back to the drawing board, so to speak. Okay, so I'm gonna probably have to fast forward this place, you guys. There's gonna be a lot of walking, a lot of fighting. It's gonna be slow going, and much to my chagrin. So we will uh, have to uh, maybe speed this up a little bit for you guys, just because otherwise we'll be here all day and all night. So bear with me. And after long last, seriously, <laughs> uh, I have a talent for that. I'm gonna just jump this real quick. All right, after some, after a couple narrow scrapes here or there, we pulled through. We're in one piece. Ophelia is starting to catch up a level to the rest of the team level wise. Pretty much has actually, but her stats really aren't that good. But that's just dragon air for you. The secret key. Do I have any escape ropes on me? No, I don't. But I do have my my repels on, so. We should be able to just breeze on out of here pretty easily. Oh, hello. There are... Ooh, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur down here. I was going to say Alakazam, because there is. I bumped into one or two of them. They're scary. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, I've also realized that there were a few more things I'd f forgotten we had that I could teach Ophelia. So she also knows Surf. And I figured what the heck, and I gave her high jump kick as well. So that at least our dragon, uh, our, our dragonite will have at least one very high-powered physical move. So that is how that's going to work for us for now. Gonna have to heal that poisoning. Also stopped off at the Marge. Got ultra balls, full full heals, high potions, the whole, the whole bit because we were running kind of low on everything. And I wish that I could bike indoors. Get there a little faster, but uh, I guess the, the the endless fields of red and white checkers will just have to do in the meantime. Uh, the trainers didn't have anything too too uh, wild on them, so I just kind of skipped over them as well. Wait, didn't I need to? All oh, right, we need to go to the other switch first before I can actually get out of here. Round to the side. Oh yeah, okay. Well, the the, uh, the the hidden switches in the statues really really aren't aren't, aren't that complicated. Um, just kind of push one on whatever floor you're on, and you know, see where it takes you. This one here always used to get me when I was a kid. There's this one spot here where it looks like you're stepping off into, into, into like, like it doesn't it doesn't seem like there's anything anything here, but you can walk off of it as a hidden door to get out. So like I'd go over there, hang the thing, nothing was there, walk through it, and and end up, end up back outside, and have to re and have to reset the puzzle again, which always drove me nuts. <clears throat> All right, we got ourselves down here. We got ourselves. Uh, our key. Why don't we go stick our nose in Blaine's gym and see what we got? Alright, now 
Uh, usually this works off of uh, quizzes, but... I was a thief, but I became a straight as I, 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 I became straight as a trainer. Well, that's good news for you. You know, keep, keeping things honest is always best. Three Pokemon. Artisan wants to fight. Rapidash. That slightly intimidates me, honestly. Rapidash is very fast, which means high crit chance. I'll try a surf and see how we do. But there was a Ponyta inside that mansion. And almost killed Ophelia because kept getting uh, stomp off before I could do anything, and I kept getting flinched and critted, like back to back, like flinch crit, flinch crit, like could you could you not please? Scary flaming pony. Okay, that was pretty painless. I do need to keep in mind the however that we had our, our defense lowered. That's not nothing. Golduck. Oh, oh, I forgot what his Gen 1 spark looked like. We should be alright for a solar beam. It does lock us in, though, which I don't necessarily love. Um, should be okay. Okay, it failed. Not too shabby. They are setting us up for something big. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure I like it, though. Try and finish it off. Not quite enough. Special fell though, which is good. Disable. Took out my second. Eh, well, that kind of stinks, but uh, I guess we'll go for. Well, it's probably a bad idea, but it is pretty close to being fainted, so. Yeah, we're alright. Okay. We're so good. Eaterino. Well, my second is out of commission, which means my best move for this is out. It can't horn drill us, though, because we're. A higher level than it, than it is, and I'm pretty sure you can't one hit KO something that's a higher level than you. Or at least the odds are, you know, pretty pathetic. Okay. First turn down, no sweat, no problem. We got this. I'm, I am gonna have to figure out uh, how many Pokemon Blaine has and uh, adjust our team accordingly, as usual for our gym leader claws. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think he's got three. He's got uh, Rapidash, Arcanine, Magmar. That sounds right, but I feel like it's I feel like it's wrong. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? Like super hot, man. And don't get me started to feed him some uh, some uh, jalapenos first. I mean, come on. I'm a star. Lord Helix in all of his glory. The prime candidate for the Solar Beam treatment. Not a very powerful Pokemon offensively. Defensively, though, quite strong. But when it's double weak to grass, you know. 38. Nice. And another, what, 17 levels to go? Nice. There's our, uh, the, the, the Last of Us reference right there. So, well, sort of. <laughs> Obviously, this game came out way before Last of Us did, but uh, the, the, the mushrooms on its back are, are, are basically cordyceps. And that's what the whole uh, Last of Us thing is based on. It's 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 a, a real life fungus. Uh, for anyone who doesn't who, uh, who doesn't know, uh, a bit alarming. But, but the uh, the cordyceps are are, are, are a real uh, species of mushroom in real life. Um, the only the they, they only affect insects that I'm aware of anyway. Um, but there are different kinds. Basically, it compels the the, the, the the insect, usually an ant, usually ants. Uh, it compels them to find a high a high place to uh, to uh, climb up to, where the the fungus then overtakes their body, and then it can spread more spores from there to get more ants. It's kind of freaky stuff. It's 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 one of those things where you're like, okay, nature, you're beautiful and cool and all, but like you're freaking me out right now. You know what I mean? It, it, every so often, nature's like, okay, that's terrifying. Just, 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 yep, mm-hmm. Back slowly away before the nature is provoked. Sandslash! Sandslash. Finally encountered one of these guys in the, in the, bur in, in the burn mansion, by the way. Um, which unfortunately was after we'd already caught Ophelia, so there was no way we could have caught one. Uh, but it would have made Nova happy. If we had. 
Ah, uh, Solar Beam. I will say the fact that Ophelia has, you know, the stat line of a much weaker Pokemon is a little, a little bit of a damper. Like most Pokemon this level have stats, you know, like like for for the for the primary offensive stat in like the, the 70s or 80s at like a minimum. Ophelia is like 60. You know, so like 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 uh, our, our Jolteon has a special attack of like a hundred. Charizard's almost a hundred. You know, they're all they're all significantly more 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 powerful than poor uh, uh, Ophelia here, but it's because she's basically you know the the the, the metapod. Well, well, I guess I guess Shellgon is the metapod of dragons. Technically, he's actually got a shell, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Like it's that kind of middle stage. You can't win. I've studied Pokemon totally. You say them like you say all the things about them like a total study, or you just totally studied them. Because one of those things is less impressive than the other. Holy wrath. I'm gonna go with Psychic because two Psychics is probably more powerful than one Solar Beam. Or maybe we're fine with just that because Grits! Yay! Krabby! Okay, remember that sound? And then if you uh, check out um, the new series I'm putting out, I mentioned earlier, there's that stomp again. Uh, there's uh, uh, ooh, a crit too. Uh, there's a sound effect in in uh, the game I'm playing for a new series, uh, where what, what, whenever you cancel out of the menu, it makes a sound very much like Krabby's little bump, 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 it, it cry, but like one note of it. So if you're like three menus in and then back out three times, it sounds like it's making the sound. So it's like, hey, it's Krabby. Dragonite, yeah, okay. Hi. Um. Um. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna switch. I'm already, I'm already damaged. Which to who? Well, I mean, Mob would be the obvious. No, Nessie's the obvious choice. What am I talking about? I ain't scared of you. What am I talking about? Bring it. Oh, you're a Dragonite. You're so scary. It's true, but I have Ice Beam. Which means that your terror is very short-lived. <laughs> Rhyhorn. I'm sure I've said this before, but whenever I see R uh, Rhyhorn's Gen 1 stat, uh, uh, sprite, I, 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 I see Cradilly's head. I'm, I'm positive I've, made, I've, I've already made that comparison, but just saying. Man, this, like, what is it, this island and Stomp? Like, did, 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 did the band perform here once? And then, like, they all just caught on super hard? Thirty-nine! Ah, my studies! Oh no! I just like using fire Pokemon. I like it. Is that alright with you, mate? I like using fire Pokemon, alright? And you've got... a Grimer. I like it, but I can't find one to use. It's a crying shame, really. I, I, I still love Grimer's Gen 1 spread, though. Because it, 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 it looks like it's fanboying. Like, ah! Oh, I'm so excited! Ah! <laughs> oh, I love it. Poor Grimer. Too hot to handle, mate. Well, I know why Blaine became a trainer. Oh. I know his motivations, eh? Alright, so we want to fight. Let the eradicate. Big teeth of Kate. Ooh, the perfect time to launch a kick. Huh? <laughs> the no leg high jump kick. Go! I have to imagine it's just, it's just like overly like, like curling into a spring and then launching herself at something and it's just utterly lit. It's just a giant tail strike. Just thwack! Ow!
Yeah, see? Ow! <laughs> Alright, well, what is Blade's motivation then? Hey, oh, he was lost in the mountains, eh, when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light enabled him to find his way down, eh? Pretty crazy stuff, eh, Hoser? There, that, 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 that one's for seven. She's been bugging me to, 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 to do a, 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 a fake Canadian accent. I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite! Because we're all, like, nerds and thieves and stuff. I guess. Actually, 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 no, they're, they're artisans, that's right. In this version, they're artisans. They're all very artistic people. They take great, great care in their craft, don't you know? If I suppose an artisan thief would still be an artisan, so... I suppose that kind of works. Ah, leech life. I was really surprised when in Gen, what was it, Gen 7? All of a sudden they made leech life into like, a, into like a powerful move. To like, facilitate like, uh, uh, um, some of the new bug Pokemon. I was just like, leech life. You're gonna make leech life into an 80 power move? What? Could you just make a new, like a new move? No, okay, we're doing this, alright. Just very, very surprising to me. Hello, Magmar. As after so many generations of leech life just being a joke, all of a sudden it was like it meant something. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's that about? Alright. It's a nice experience fodder for Ophelia, who is now our second highest level Pokemon, actually, thinking about it. She's right behind, she's, she's, she's. Second in place behind, uh, Prometheus. Yowza! Too hot! It's just too hot to handle. Alright, second only last guy before Burn Heal Boy. Fire is weak against H2O. That's water, by the way. Hmm, two Pokemon this time. There's that critting Ponyta again. With the fancy footwear. Alright, well, why don't we just tag out to Nessie? Okay, you've growled twice. I'm not sufficiently intimidated, however. Actually, I guess, I, I, I guess technically we would be, because intimidate as an ability in Gen, you know, once there's abilities, lowers your attack two, by two stages. And two growls does the same thing, so I guess we are intimidated. Technically. Idiot. Ooh. Cool. Tammy? If you would please. Got a rather large bird here to fricassee. Well, snuffed out. Alright, now I don't know if Blade has three or four Pokemon. Hmm, pardon me. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna put Nessie up front. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my, my desired team for this up front. I'm thinking... I, mean, I always feel bad whenever I bring Mob into a, into a gym fight because it feels so, like, just absurdly unfair. But uh, I'm gonna use these three. Nestor, Dan, and Mob. Um, if he has four, I'll just I'll add in Ophelia, I guess, or Tammy. Doesn't I, 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 guess, I, I guess Tammy will be my my fourth choice. Um, but if those three go down, then we lose. You know, like we're only allowed to use the same number of Mons as him. So, ha! Huh. I am Blaine. I am the leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! Huh. You better have Burn Heal. <coughs> I have Full Heal, actually. Not that it especially matters. He's like, hey! Honestly, he could, kind of reminds me of Eggman a little bit. Landon. Oh, he, he, he does have four. There we go. Yeah, actually, that's something he's supposed to have, too. Okay. Fire spin. That could be a problem. Prepare to get trapped in the endless flames. That said, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely odd that he actually has a mon you'd expect him to have. Because he, he normally has one of these. 
a super potion on Rapidash, but it's not even hurt. What? I'm very confused. You can potion now, if you like. I'm... Maybe it's normally like a, like a, like an X item, and he wanted to use that, and it was randomized to a to a potion. I don't think so, though. It's weird, though. Ammonite. All right, well, we'll tag in Tammy for that. Ooh, 40, jeez. I think maybe I'm starting a little bit under level for this. Sure, I've not been grinding very much. I mean, you know, it's potions again. The only, I guess, quote unquote, grinding I've been doing was when I swam from Fuchsia to Seafoam just to fight some trainers, but it wasn't really that extensive or anything. I suppose I could go down into Seafoam Islands and try and catch Articuno or whatever Articuno's been replaced by, but. I don't know. Blue tops. We can just stay in then, can't we? Keep charging that solar beam. Keep on firing those lasers. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no! No! Oh, come on! Well, there we go, guys. I've actually lost another Pokemon. Jeez, I didn't see, I didn't see that coming. Okay, well, fine. Um. Crud. I guess I got a little too. a, a, a little too, uh. Self assured there. I thought we had that for easy peasy. I mean, if the, if the beam had landed, we would have been fine, but I, I, I underestimated how much attack power uh, Kudos has. Man, that sucks. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of like, eh. I'm, 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 I'm mad at myself for that. We do have a backup Jolteon in the, in the computer, in all fairness, but it's level 15. A drowsy? Really? That's what you got? Man, yeah, I'm gonna just stay in then, I guess. Cause last time I said that, I lost Pokemon, so... 47. Good gracious, man. Alright, well, it stinks. I mean, it wasn't a terribly difficult boss, uh, boss, uh, gym fight, but at the same time, I lost Pokemon, so... I think that, that negates me any right to, 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 to crow about it too much. That stinks. Uh, I mean, I didn't... I have burnt out! You have earned the Volcano Badge! Yeah, well, I lost Pokemon doing it, which stinks. Ha! Huh. Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon! Here, you can have this, too! Gym 38, which had better be something good, buddy. Sand attack? Really? Uh, more like salt attack. Well, that sucks. Our second Pokemon lost this run after that one ill-advised ditto we had way back. Man, I'm sorry, Tammy. Uh, I'm not sure who we're gonna use to replace her, though, because, like... Now that we have... I mean, I mean, Ophelia has a lot of the same moves she did anyway. I guess she feels the same niche, kinda. Um... No. It stinks. Change box. No, not two. No. Box twelve. Containing the lost ones. Man, that stinks like a lot. Like, a, eh. Twice in Tammy. The two T's. That's actually kind of weird in a way because I I, I had a, a Nuzlocke run where my character's name was two T's. What is in box two anyway? Oh, yeah. Tammy. That's just that's just, that's just, 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 just the box we're on. So we have our we have our second uh, Jolteon. We have many hours in there. Let's all figure out, figure out a, a, a replacement. We have, a, we have a decent number of Pokemon to pull in, but they're mostly underleveled. Frankly, I don't remember what half of them are. Mm. Pika Punch. <laughs> I remember Pika Punch. Uh, that was funny. 
Um, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Well, we always have, um, you know, we, we, we have, uh, the 8th gym to tend to uh, next. We've got... I don't know, like, I mean, our team is fairly solid the way it is, I guess. I mean, we, we, we have a Mewtwo on our team. It's not really any... I'm, I'm not really feeling any imminent danger, but... I, I suppose we could go down into, um, Seafoam Islands. See what Articuno is, see if, see if anything cool comes our way that way. Could be a neat addition to the team. It would be, it'd be level, like, what, 40, 50? Um... I don't know. We'll figure it out. But thank you so much for being here, you guys. Uh, we, we, we've lost the Pokemon for the first time in forever, which I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's take me a hot minute to get over that one. Uh, leave me any any suggestions you might have for Ophelia's official name, or if you like Ophelia, just say so, uh, down in the comments. I will see you guys um, on the next episode, which I promise will not be so far off as this one was from the last one. Um, there'll also be a new series starting up, uh, maybe even today, uh, if not, probably tomorrow, because I, 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 I've, I've really been enjoying this, this, this other game I want to share with you guys, so um, my motivation is up. Um, so I'll see all you, all you monsters real soon. Please take care of yourselves, and t uh, because you're worth it, and for now, I'll Monster Mad out. Bye-bye!